Hello everyone and welcome to the second devlog in this game development series. It's been a while since the previous devlog and a lot has happened since. From finishing my degree at university to Grub Truck actually already going into closed alpha tests which we've already been doing for around four weeks. So let's start by catching up on everything that's happened since the last video. For a quick comparison, this is how the game concept looked previously. And this is how it's looking now. For starters, I've modelled all of the basics into the game now from the truck to the oven. Everything that I need as a bare minimum is now in the game. I've also fully scripted all of the appliances so you can see that the fridge correctly stores the ingredients, the oven and the deep fryer then correctly cooks the items and you can then serve the items to the customer if they requested that in their order which is visible in the order bubble. There's obviously a huge amount of other small changes that I've made to the game from implementing a build mode, soundtracks, sound effects, character models, character animations, etc. But hopefully you'll be able to find them out for yourself when the game comes out. The QA testers have been giving me lots and lots of helpful feedback over on the Discord server which you can join, link is in the description. One of their points was not knowing what the player was holding so I'm going to be making a start on implementing a very simple system that shows the player what they are currently holding. Okay, so this is the initial design. As you can see, it will show what the player is holding by the icon of that food item. So if it was a hot dog, obviously it would show a hot dog. And it also states whether it's raw or cooked in the little text box. So now I'm going to work on getting the functionality together to actually update that to match what the player is actually holding. Whilst programming in the functionality I realised that having a bubble above the player's head made it look like that's what the player was thinking about or what they need to do. So I'm going to change up the design to make it clear that it's what the player is holding as opposed to what the player is thinking. Okay, so this is the final design, so you can see it's a bright box with a hand holding a serving plate. Um, obviously the player's carrying nothing, so it doesn't show anything at the moment, but if the player was to go and get an ingredient from the fridge, uh, let's just say a burger for example, it would then show that he's got a raw burger. If he then cooks that, you can now see that he's obviously got a cooked burger in the hand and then obviously if he served it he's then got nothing again uh, and then it would update depending on whatever he's got in his hands so there you go raw fries and things like that so you can see there that when i left the mouse over him and i put the burger on it hasn't actually dynamically updated the burger to be removed from the player's um, highlighted box so i'm going to be working on that now So it was quite an easy fix, all I had to do was create a coroutine that checks for if there's been any change what the player's carrying, and if there has been a change then to update the UI above the player's head accordingly. Before I round up this devlog, I wanted to show you one of the biggest features that has been added to the game since the last devlog. Grub Truck now has a map screen that occurs at the end of the day, which will allow you to set up at different locations after you've unlocked them with the money you earn throughout the day, and each location has its own little story as well as its own different benefits and cons. So for example, the office district has many more customers and many more queue slots, however the customers won't wait as long for you to prepare their orders, whereas at Sycamore Woods, which is where you start, the customers will wait much longer, however there are less overall customers that will visit your truck. 
I'd love to hear your ideas for different locations to be featured in the game. So if you do have a super interesting idea, come and join the Discord server and let me know in the suggestions channel. On that note, I'm going to round up this devlog here. Be sure to subscribe to see where the game goes in the next few weeks and I'll see you in the next one.